Hello there and welcome to the Alien Cooking Corner. Today I'll make Grogu some blue macarons because let's be honest, blue will be the color of Star Wars food forever. If you'd like to join me, I've linked the recipe down below. It's in German, but it shouldn't be too hard to translate for C3PO. First, we need 45 grams of ground almonds and 75 grams of powdered sugar. In the recipe it says it's really important to measure everything correctly, so I tried my best at all the grams. Mix those two together and then blend them in a strong blender. In my case, it's a coffee grinder. After the whole mixture is very fine, it needs to be sieved two times to get out all the lumps. This takes some time, so maybe get your favorite beverage or to celebrate May the 4th, some blue milk and enjoy a few sips here and there. As a warrior who most of the time gets her food in these tiny little white pieces of chalk, I really enjoy cooking and baking here and there, but to prevent bad stuff from happening, I stay close to the recipe and far away from Anakin. After the whole mix is sieved two times, take another bowl and exactly 36 grams of egg white. Whisk the egg white on high until it gets stiff. Then add 10 grams of sugar and whisk again until little spikes form when you remove the blender. Then it's time for the blue color. I used food coloring paste in blue, of course, but any other color works just as well here. Just be careful not to overdo it with the color, a few drops were enough in my case. Whisk again for about a minute. Here we go, everything's blue now. Now it's time to put the almond powdered sugar mixture into the egg mix. Do it in three steps and carefully fold the dry mix in with the spatula. until it looks like this. The recipe says, until it runs from the spatula, vicious and shiny. Great, isn't it? <laughs> then I took a plastic bag and put in the mixture. It helps to put the plastic bag into a high mixing cup. And of course, I had to taste test it. Maybe only do this if the eggs were really fresh for safety reasons, but yeah. Satisfyingly sweet. Squish the mixture into one edge of the bag and tightly clip it or just hold it closed. Then put small blobs on your lined baking tray. They should have around 2 cm in diameter, 
and some space in between them because they will grow while baking. I tried round shapes here, but some were rather difficult ovals. When all your blobs are done, tap the tray on your table a few times to remove any air bubbles. Then leave the macaron halves to dry for 30 minutes. During the drying time, I made the filling. I used 80 grams of my favorite vegan white chocolate and 50 grams vegan cream that was already sweetened. Chop the chocolate in small pieces And don't let the chocolate-loving creatures in your home eat it all. In a small pot, bring your cream to boil. Put in the small chocolate pieces and let them melt completely. Stir until everything is melted and then put the filling in your fridge for about 60 minutes. And then it's time to bake the macaron halves. Preheat your oven to 150 degrees Celsius, top and bottom heat. And once you put in the macarons, decrease the temperature to 145 degrees Celsius. Bake them for 12 to 40 minutes or until they look like this and have this macaron crust at the edges and the top part rises a bit. Take out your hopefully very pretty macarons and let them cool completely. Once everything is cool, so filling and macaron halves, take the filling again and give it a stir until it becomes thicker and lightens up a bit. Then add a drop of food coloring too. And finally, it's time to build the macarons. After carefully removing the halves, some sadly didn't make it, broke in half and therefore had to be eaten. I had no choice here. I took a spoon, Place some filling on one half and put the other half on top. So pretty! And now repeat until all your macarons are done. Ta-da! Grogu's macarons are done! And now taste test, of course. My opinion, rather sweet, but also very delicious. Mm. Sehr lecker. Aber wenn ich davon eine ganze Tüte futtern würde und dann mit dem Raumschiff fliegen müsste, dann würde ich auch kotzen, ja? Kann man verstehen. And now Grogu and I will eat them all. Please like and subscribe, leave me a comment if you want to see more Star Wars food and feel free to check out my Instagram for what I usually do and my Patreon for even more and if you want to support me. See you next time! <laughs>